here's how you can connect your Google Sheets to your NAN workflow. So I have a basic workflow right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a node, and we're gonna add a Google Sheets node like so. And for the action, we're just gonna go ahead and look for the create spreadsheet node, just as an example here. And what we're gonna do here is under the credential section, what we're actually going to do is create a new credential. So we're gonna click on create new credential. And from here is where we're gonna to have to actually set up some stuff in our Google Cloud account in order to actually hook this up to the Google Sheets API. So what you wanna do is head over to cloud.google.com. I'll have a link in the description down below. And it's gonna bring you to this page once you log into your console. And what we wanna do is go up to the top left and click on the project and click on create new project. You may not have a project, so I might just ask you to create a new project up front. But let's just go ahead and create a project here. I'm just gonna name this NAN Google Sheets Tutorial. For the organization, you can just select no organization or you can add a pre-existing one that you already have. I'm gonna select the pre-existing one I already have and then click on where it says create. It should show now that at the top right, that's going to create that NEN Google Sheets tutorial project. And we can go ahead and select it by going up to the top left and selecting the project that we just created. So now we can see that listed on the top left. And from here, we wanna to go to the left-hand side to the navigation and then go to where it says API and services and then enabled API and services. From here, we're gonna to go to the top and we're gonna search for Google Sheets. And we wanna select the Google Sheets API and then click on where it says enable. And now if you plan on adding other Google services to your NAN workflows, this is the perfect opportunity to look for other APIs such as like the YouTube API, you can go ahead and add the YouTube API to this as well. So that way you'll have one single connection that connects to all of your Google services. So that's something that you can do if you want, or you could just hook it up to Google Sheets, which is perfectly fine. But the next step is we wanna go back over to the left-hand side, go back to APIs and services. And then we wanna head over to the left-hand side where it says OAuth consent screen. And then we're gonna click on where it says get started. And so now we need to configure our project. So I'm going to just name this NAN Google Sheets tutorial. I'm gonna add a support email, which is just gonna be my email. For the audience, you wanna set this to external. And then for the contact information, just enter in a contact email. I'm just gonna enter in my own email and click on next. And I'm gonna also click on, I agree to the Google API services, click on continue, and then finally click on create. So now that we have configured our project, the next step is to actually configure our OAuth client. So to do that, what we can do is go to the right-hand side, click on create OAuth client, the application type, we're going to select web application. And for the client name, name this whatever we would like. I'm just gonna name it Google Sheets Client. And the important part here is heading down to the authorized redirect URIs section here. So we wanna click on where it says add URI. And then we wanna head back over to our NAN workflow. And here's where we wanna copy this OAuth redirect URL. So to copy it, you can just click on click to copy. Then we wanna head back over to the Google Cloud dashboard and paste that into this URL input here. And then once we do that, we can go ahead and click on where it says create. And then the next step is we need to head over to the branding section. So on the left-hand side, go to branding. And then we want to head down to where it says authorized domains. And we wanna add a domain to this. And here's something that's very important to pay attention to is if you're using any ends own cloud service, then you want to enter in nan.cloud into the authorized domain. But if you're using a self-hosted nan cloud, then what you want to do is enter in the domain name of your self-hosted nan. So for me, that's going to be evandustech.com because I hooked up my domain. It, yours could be a IP address or you could be your own domain that you hooked up. But you want to make sure that you just get that top level domain, which should be something.com or the IP address. And then you wanna paste that into the authorized domains. So, and then you wanna click on where it says save. Next, we need to head over to the audience section on the left-hand side, and we need to add a test user. So to do that, we can go ahead and click on add users. Then we wanna add the Google Cloud account that we want to access. So for me, it's gonna be contact Evan does tech com. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And now we can finally head back over to our NAN workflow 
And here's where we need to paste in our client ID and client secret. So to access that, we can head over to the clients on the left-hand side here. We can click on this client that we just created. And under the additional information section over here, we want to copy this client ID right here and paste that into the client ID input field here. For the client secret, we're gonna do the exact same thing, except we're gonna head down to the client's secret and we're gonna copy this client secret code and paste that into the client secret input. And then we're gonna click on where it says sign in with Google. Then you wanna select the account that you just gave it access to and click on where it says allow. And it should say that the connection has been successful and close out of this as well. And now let's actually just go ahead and try to create a sheet in our account. So for the resource, we're gonna select document. For the operation, we're gonna leave it as create. For the title, I'm going to say this was created an 8N. And let's go ahead and click on where it says execute step. And now we see this green check mark here that says it was executed successfully. And we can see this JSON object with a bunch of data here. And now we should see that sheet that we just created with our NAN workflow right here. If we go ahead and open it up, it should give us a blank Google Sheet. But that is how you can connect your Google Sheets account to your NAN workflow. If you have any questions or you need more support, you can head over to my NAN community. I'll have a link in the description down below. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.